Welcome to this lesson about dummy nodes and linked lists. At this point, you should remember how to build a linear linked list. Remember, each basic node contains a piece of data and a pointer to the next node in the list. So, what happens if you go to the end of the basic linked list and you want to go back to the first element? There's no way to do that. So this video is about dummy nodes, which can be used to make connections between the first and the last elements in the list. Essentially, a dummy node is an empty node that usually points to the first actual node. It has no significant data, but it contains a pointer to the first node with something inside. There are a bunch of different ways to use a dummy node, but for today, we're going to use it to make the structure illustrated below, which is called a circular linked list. This structure lets us easily go back to the beginning of the list without starting over. It also eliminates some of the test cases that are harder to deal with in linear linked lists. As a side note, Circularly linked lists can be formed without a dummy node and vice versa. This implementation just combines the concept of a circular linked list and a dummy node in one video. Great, so by now, you already know how to construct and connect nodes together. So let's try applying this concept to some actual code. For this example, we'll start with a linear linked list and change it into a circular linked list. And both of them will be singly linked. Feel free to take a minute and pause the video to familiarize yourself with this implementation of a linear linked list then just continue the video whenever you're ready. So if we wanted to change this code to reflect the presence of a dummy node, what areas of the code would need changes and what changes would those be? Take some time and think about your answer and continue the video when you're ready to see a possible answer. Are you ready? Great. So first we would need to add a declaration statement to create the dummy node. Now we would need to change the next pointers in the nodes. Our head pointer would need to connect to the dummy node instead of the first node. So instead of head equals one, we would have head equals dummy. We would also have to connect the last node in the list back to the dummy so that the list will become circular. So instead of three arrow next equals null pointer, we would change this line to three arrow next equals dummy. Finally, because the dummy node was also dynamically allocated, we must absolutely remember to delete it at the end, just like any other node. So we would add the line delete dummy at this last part as well. Awesome! Now you know the difference between a linear linked list and a circular linked list. You also should know how to make either one by yourself and how to change a linear linked list into a circular linked list with the dummy node. Thanks for watching this video and see you next time!